Mazar, 37 years of age. Dirty Dez is 33. Both women five feet four inches tall and weighed in at the flyweight limit. Reach advantage favoring Dez Yanez on the arms. Larry Folsom oversees the action. Mazar in the black. You ready? Yanez you ready? in the gray. Let's go. Dirty Dez oh. opens things with a nasty right hand. And then a takedown attempt. Yeah, Yanez said she wanted to be aggressive in this fight. Really wanted to take advantage of this opportunity. There was a lot of emotion when we spoke with her. And she is getting after it right here. Getting off to a great start. Yanez with the high underhook here, pressing Mayra Mazar against the barrier. Controlling where the action takes place for the moment. Yeah, Mazar doing a good job of controlling that wrist, not allowing Yanez to get that second underhook. There's a nice shot to the body by Yanez. Mazar able to work herself out the back door with that underhook. Back to the striking exchanges here. Dirty Dez walking down her opponent. Changes levels, presses her against the cage one more time. Good knee on the inside there from Mayra Mazar. Ooh, nice right hand there by Yanez. Nice combination there by Mazar. Double jab and a right hand. Dirty Dez now with a flurry. Turning up the aggression in round one. Yeah, and it's those kind of flurries that are gonna allow her to level change and get in on the, those takedowns. But Mazar's so tough, Sean. Great chin. Megan Anderson decidedly different than her first out of the evening, getting after it early, these two women. Absolutely no feeling out period in this fight so far. I am loving everything that I am seeing from Desiree Yanez right now. She is aggressive, but she is patient. She's picking her shots and she's making them land and count when they need to. Paige Van Zandt, what do you like from these two? I mean, right now, this is the Dirty Desiree show. We said it in our uh, weigh-in show that she's got three knockouts to her name already. Desiree has power in her hands, but I do, like Megan said, she's been very methodical, patient, not overexposing herself, and she's been very, very technical striking right now. Sam Darnold, they got right to the action here. Do you think that gas tank becomes a factor in this fight if it goes into the deeper round? I'm not sure. I think uh, I think Dez. It looks like she's got a good gas tank on her, but you know, Dirty Dez, man, she is uh, she is doing a good job. I think if Mazar can continue to beat her up with leg kicks, I think you know, uh, you know, working that distance a little bit, I think that'll help her out a lot. Ian Parker, how'd you bet this fight? We went with Desiree Yanez here. I like the way she's controlling the pace. If she could do this over three rounds, I'd like to see her mix in a calf kick, but then that overhand right would come in way handy. Mazar, though, has put up a really good fight. She is landing. She's throwing nice combinations here. You know, but for Yanez, she just keeps pushing forward. I think that aggression is going to tire out Mazar over three rounds. Oh, good shots to the body there. Digging to the midsection is Dirty Dez. Mazar's finding some success, but every time she lands something, she takes two or three back, Kenny. Yeah, that's right. And she's being pushed back as well. I think really the pressure from Yanez has been the difference. Very difficult to strike when you're going backwards. You better be a slick counter striker if, you're, if you are pressed like that. Yanez putting a lot of pressure on her opponent. She's doing a good job blocking a lot of those jabs, those long range strikes from Mazar as well. It's been Mazar who's put in the work with the leg kicks so far, trying to take some steam on power off the strikes of Dirty Dez. We'll see if we get later into this fight that pays dividends. Good movement to stay out of the way there for Mayra Mazar. Settling in a little bit here in the later part of the round. Yeah, no question. This is where Mazar wants to be. She doesn't want to get pushed up against the cage, which will allow Yanez to hit some of those takedowns, at least pressure and pin her up there. She wants to try to control the center of the cage here. Final 30 seconds of round number one. 
Once again, Myra Mazar trying to throw meaningful strikes off the back foot, as Kenny mentioned. You see it, you see it. Harder than it looks. Yeah. Hey, hey, cut her off. You got 10 seconds Cut left. her off, don't follow. That time Mazar goes first, but Yanez stays out of range. We'll work nice on counter the right hand. Time from Yanez. Final few seconds and round two to come. Welcome back to Challenger Series Ready. flyweight action inside of our cage right now. Dirty Des Yanez in the gray, Mayra Mazar in the black. An action-packed first round. Nice finish of the combination there goes. No, no. To the illegal areas. Yeah, a low kick there by Mazar. Just start hanging with me here. That hurt. Good. Yeah, that took me a second. Okay. Yep. Okay. Tried to go for that inside leg kick. Went a little high there. You ready? Ready? Let's go. Touch of the gloves and once again underway. Get those off now. Make it a pay for it. Yeah, give me three. Put three jabs out. There you go. Another low kick there from Yanez. She eats a couple of punches for her efforts. Yanez. Trying to get in on that body again. Yeah, Yanez just getting a little bit too high. That shoulder really should be right around hip level. And of course, Mazar doing a good job of pulling up on that overhook when they do exchange. Looks like the hand of Mazar inside the shirt of Yanez. There you go. An apology from Myra Mazar, just an accidental slip inside the wardrobe there, but. One minute gone, and Dirty Dez once again has Mayra Mazar pressed against the barrier. Oh, nice positioning there by Mazar. Almost went for that throw, decided to bail. <laughs> nice jab there from Mayra Mazar after a couple of feints. Yeah, doing a much, much better job of utilizing those long range weapons. She's Able to keep Yanez on the outside much more this round. Beautiful, sharp jab. You gotta get your jab out Myra Mazar, interesting background in her martial arts career. A lot of Brazilians, you, you just expect that it's gonna be started with jujitsu. Maybe you got into some Muay Thai. For her, it was Sanda. She's a high level competitor in Sanda. That's what led her into the sport of mixed martial arts. Yeah, and in Sanda, they do a great job of utilizing their strikes both to get into clinch takedowns and to keep their strikes, keep the other person on the outside, which is a nice transition into mixed martial arts. Great work there from Mayra Mazar to negate the takedown attempt from Desiree Yanez. This time Yanez is able to get to the ground, but right to the mount goes Mazar. That seems like they got tied up up against the cage there, Sean. Now she's got the back. Myra Mazar on the back of Dirty Des Yanez. Paige Van Zandt, an interesting turn of events here in the second round. This Mazar taking control. Oh, it's a huge change of events. Uh, up until this point, really, Desiree was kind of controlling the entire momentum of the fight. We saw a little bit of Mazar countering on some of the kicks that were being thrown by Desiree, but here this is a big change in momentum, so I'm curious to see if she can really capitalize. With uh, we still got a lot of time left in this round. Megan Anderson, how important is it for Myra Mazar to capitalize on this position, given what we saw in round one? One hundred percent, she needs to capitalize on this particular moment. And what I really liked in this second round is she was a little bit more patient. She was going first, whereas in the first round she was letting Yanez initiate the exchanges. But with uh, Myra Mazar initiating some of those in the second round, she was able to capitalize on these moments. And this right here is absolutely huge for her right now. Sam Darnold, Myra's got 90 seconds to try and earn a finish here in round two. Can she make it happen? Yeah, you know, we'll see. I just love the resilience that I see out of her. I think uh, the way that Dez came out in the first round and the way that Mazar has been coming out um, in the second round has been amazing to see. How about another 
special celebrity guest here, Kayla Harrison, two-time women's champ here in the Professional Fighters League. Kayla, right to it, what does Myra Mazar need to do to get the finish with one minute left? Yeah, I mean, she's done a good job controlling the round. She, she got a, a mouth position fairly easily, and then uh, Inez gave up her back. So from here, she needs to just keep digging for that choke, be patient. I like to go, you know, two hands on one, get wrist control, and then when their neck comes up, right across. <laughs> What does Kayla Harrison know about submission? <laughs> she gave us some sound effects as well. I like it. Mazar still on the back of Yanez. 30 seconds remain in the second frame here. That really has been a tale of two fights here. Round one for Yanez, round two for Mazar. So things are going to get interesting if we're able to get into round three. Just 19 seconds left. Oh, nice escape Yanez. there. Works her way out of the position with only 10 seconds left and a flurry at the end of the round. Dirty Dez unloading, trying to steal the round back. What a finish to round number two, but we will indeed see the third frame. Gonna be interesting to see who can take over this round. Ready, you ready, let's go. Five more minutes to determine who will win. Four fights tonight, only one contract to be given away. Yanez with a flurry. Yeah, a couple nice right hands there from Yanez. Right hand snuck through there from Mazar. Seen some really high quality exchanges from both of these women. Mazar gets back to work with the jab, mixes it up with the right hand. Yanez returns a jab. Yanez doing a good job of backing up Mazar now. Just needs to faint a little bit more because Mazar, when she's getting her timing, she's able to put together some nice combinations. Look at that, Mazar changing levels looking for a takedown. Well, she said she wanted the striking battle and it might end up being a grappling battle. Yeah. So that's exactly what's happened in both rounds. Oh, look at this. Nice takedown there by Yanez. Yeah, well timed. This has been a fun fight. Now Yanez trying to move to the back. Mazar needs to be very careful here. Yanez doing a good job with that head to pin the back of Mazar. Yanez trying to move around the legs. Mazar doing a good job of getting those legs in play, preventing that guard pass there. Able to close the guard here, at least temporarily. Now she's opened it again. Myra Mazar with three minutes to work off her back. Two-time women's lightweight champion, Kayla Harrison. It's back and forth and now back. Dirty Dez Yanez on top. And same question I asked you a minute ago in favor of Myra Mazar. How do you get the finish from this position if you're Dirty Dez? Yeah, I mean, she's doing a great job. She's controlling the match. I think that was a really smart move to, to shoot for a takedown. You know, she's in complete control here. There's no back and forth. She won the first. She may have lost the second. Right now, she's clearly winning the third. So she needs to lay some heavy ground and pound. You know, I'm a fan of the ground and pound, Sean. Some of the best ground and pound you'll see in the sport from that woman, Kayla Harrison. Paige Van Zandt, you got Dirty Dez back on top, half a round left. What can Myra Mazar do to try and swing the official judges in her favor? Gosh, honestly, I couldn't believe, uh, I couldn't agree with Kayla more, you know, with the trajectory of this fight. I believe it's 1-1 going into this round. That takedown could have sealed the deal for Yanez, depending on what she can do up until the end of the fight. Um, Mazar needs to get off her back and potentially needs to finish. All right, Megan Anderson, if you're Dirty Dez, how are you getting yourself a finish here? You are laying on the ground a pound like your life depends on it. And she has shown how much power that she has in this fight with a lot of her combinations on the feet. So I'd like to see her have a little bit more, you know, urgency to end this fight quickly. But she has to be very careful because Mazar is very dangerous off her back. 
Sam Darnold, we've seen some wild momentum swings in this fight. If Yanez can finish on top, does she take it? Yeah, absolutely. Um, I think, you know, like Paige said, I think Mazar needs to get up or try to submit her, but she needs to try to finish this fight she, if she wants a, a chance at that contract. Ian Parker, if I'm not mistaken, you did pick Dirty Dez here, so did you like the takedown in round three? Yeah, you know, I know we talk about finishes and try to impress, but sometimes you could do that with a decision. I think the two of these, so far, it's been fight of the night out of the two. A lot of back and forth, good position on the ground. I think for Yanez to get the win over an opponent like this is really important. I would like to see her kind of pass the half here, but listen, getting the win here is really important, and yes, my pick was Yanez. Final 40 seconds or so. Dirty Dez continuing to work. Okay, she really puts power behind every strike. Yeah, absolutely. A lot of that has to do with her posture. She's getting her head over the head of her opponent there. Now moving in and around those legs. But Mazar doing a good job of elevating, getting those legs in play, using that knee shield to prevent Giannis from getting side control. Dirty Dez able to pin that right arm down. Give herself an opportunity to score some real points in the final few seconds. Pouring it on now, though. Nice finish to the round here by Yanez. Final bell. We will head to the judges' scorecards, and I'll have a winner for you when we return. After three rounds of action, we go to the judges' scorecards. The judges score this bout 29-28, 30-27, and 29-28 for your winner. By unanimous decision, Dirty Dez Yanez. All right, a decision victory for Dirty Dez. Look, we saw a little bit of everything. Speed, the power strikes, that takedown in the third round to potentially seal this victory. Did you do enough tonight to earn yourself not only a win, but a contract? I'm not going to lie. I'm a little disappointed. I didn't do what I wanted to do tonight, but I'm more than happy to get a victory. Um, I hope I showed enough. Um, I'm always going to put on an exciting fight for PFL if you sign me. That's a promise. Win or lose, I'm a violent fighter, and I will always put on a show. Always. Dirty Dez Yanez, ladies and gentlemen.